Hey, mind detectives, are you tired of cheesy pickup lines that fall flat? Do you ever feel awkward or shy when trying to flirt? Well, ditch the awkwardness and unleash your inner flirt with three bold secrets that will leave women swooning. I'm the mind detective and I'm here to crack the code of attraction. Today, we're diving deep into the psychology of flirting, revealing secrets that go beyond cheesy lines and superficial compliments. Secret hash one, confidence is king or queen. Forget memorizing forced lines. Confidence is the ultimate aphrodisiac. It's the magnetic force that draws people in and makes them want to know more. But how do you project this irresistible confidence? It's not about being the loudest or most attention-seeking person in the room. True confidence is subtle and understated. It's about accepting yourself fully, embracing your imperfections, and radiating self-assurance from within. Here are a few tips to tap into your inner confidence. Stand tall with good posture. This sends a signal of strength and self-possession. Make eye contact and smile genuinely. This demonstrates openness, warmth, and approachability. Speak clearly and confidently. Project your voice and avoid nervous tics like fidgeting or mumbling. Focus on your strengths and accomplishments. Remind yourself of what makes you unique and awesome. Don't be afraid to take risks and put yourself out there. Confidence is about embracing challenges and stepping outside your comfort zone. Remember, confidence isn't about being perfect. It's about owning who you are, flaws and all, and believing in your worth. When you exude this genuine self-assurance, it becomes an irresistible force that attracts others like a magnet. Secret hash two, playful teasing, a dance, not a duel. Ditch the one-liners and scripted jokes. Playful teasing, done right, can be incredibly attractive. It shows you're comfortable, have a sense of humor, and can engage in a fun, light-hearted exchange. But remember, Teasing is a dance, not a duel. It's all about finding the playful balance and keeping things lighthearted and respectful. Here's how to avoid crossing the line. Stay observant and pick up on her cues. Does she seem receptive to your teasing? If she laughs and playfully nudges back, you're on the right track. But if she seems uncomfortable or shuts down, back off immediately. Keep it light and positive. Avoid anything mean-spirited, sarcastic, or hurtful. Remember, the goal is to create a fun, flirty atmosphere, not make her feel bad about herself. Focus on playful jabs, not personal attacks. Poke fun at her quirks or her playful competitiveness, not her appearance or insecurities. Don't overdo it. A little teasing goes a long way. If you find yourself constantly ribbing her, it can get old fast. The key is to use your intuition and adjust your approach based on her reactions. Remember, teasing should be a fun, playful way to connect not a power struggle. Secret hash three, dive deeper, connect beyond the surface. Flirting isn't just about witty banter and playful jabs. It's about building a genuine connection that goes beyond the superficial. This is where the real magic happens. Instead of focusing solely on making her laugh, show genuine interest in her thoughts, experiences, and passions. Ask her open-ended questions, listen actively, and remember the details she shares. Sharing your own passions and vulnerabilities can also deepen the connection. This creates a sense of intimacy and authenticity that's far more attractive than any superficial compliment. Here are some tips for building a deeper connection through conversation. Ask questions that go beyond what do you do. Explore her hobbies, interests, dreams, and aspirations. Actively listen and remember what she says. Show her you're genuinely interested in getting to know her. Share your own thoughts and experiences in a relatable way. Find common ground and create a sense of shared understanding. Be present and engaged in the conversation. Put away your phone and avoid distractions. Don't be afraid to share your vulnerabilities. It shows authenticity and builds trust. Remember, flirting is a two-way street. By focusing on creating a genuine connection, you'll not only leave a lasting impression, but also discover if there's a deeper spark worth exploring. So you've mastered the art of playful teasing, built a genuine connection, and the sparks are flying. But how do you keep the momentum going without being clingy or desperate? This is where the art of the exit strategy comes in. Ending a conversation on a high note leaves a lasting impression and opens the door for future interactions. Here's how to do it gracefully. Acknowledge your enjoyment of the conversation. Mention something specific you appreciated about the interaction. Express your desire to continue the conversation later. Suggest exchanging numbers, planning a future hangout, or connecting online. Leave her wanting more. Don't overstay your welcome. 
end the conversation while things are still positive and intriguing. Follow through on your promises. If you said you'd text or call, do it. Being reliable builds trust and shows genuine interest. Remember, a well-timed exit strategy can leave a lasting impression and pave the way for future connections. So, mind detectives, ditch the pickup lines and embrace these bold secrets. With confidence, playful teasing, a genuine desire to connect, and a masterfully executed exit strategy, you'll transform yourself into a flirting powerhouse. Remember, flirting is a skill. And like any skill, it takes practice. So go out there, experiment, have fun, and watch your love life blossom.